I just, I really, I wish I had a beer, man. Like, honestly. This is the first time that we start on time. Either a beer or. We start on time and Ray is not talking shit. Un polvo de los buenos, ya sabes. <laughs> You're welcome. Voy a poner aquí, güey. Oh, we're live? Days that Ray hasn't talked shit, no? I go back to zero. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. In fact, we need to use that, that blackboard there for, some, for something. We need to use the blackboard for something. Uh, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Night streaming with 656 Comics. What did I miss? I've been in Facebook jail. I don't know what's going on on Facebook. Um, something happened yesterday or tonight. or I don't know. Something about Kanye. I don't know what the hell's going on with that shit. 60,000 um, votes for Yeezy. So Yeezy's a new prez? Nice. It's a homecoming. Woo! No, ma no matter, Ray, how many days or months you get uh, banned from, from Facebook, you are never going to miss anything. You're not really missing anything, a single thing, <laughs> or, yeah, or or learn a lesson from it. That's possible. I mean, I just you know I said a few things that were true. They were not true. So were they true? Or not true. Was they were the not not I mean, true. Ray, it's how you said it that got you in trouble. Why? Because I used the word pinchy. <laughs> Cancel word. People, people are sensitive, man. I don't know. I'll tell you. Uh, Wait, uh, Mega Arts is asking if you have Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I have a Facebook. Who doesn't? That's it. You know, I actually have a really, really cool uh, group page. It's called El Paso Quick Collectors. If you guys get a chance, go on Facebook and join El Paso Quick Collectors. And uh, check out all the cool stuff that is in El Paso as far as toys are concerned. Right now, it's a little bit difficult because of course and COVID and all that other stuff. But we'll get into that right now. Once again, we are back. I am your ever humble host, Mr. Happy Harry Hardon, a.k.a. Ray Ramos, poet extraordinaire, eloquent elephant, all that other dumb bullshit that I right. usually say. We eloquent, are back. Elef eloquent, yeah. eloquent elephant? Elocution, elephant, eloquent etiquette, Estados Unidos. <laughs> All the key words that I know. Okay. Um, bueno. Está bien. But we're back. Who's on with me tonight at our usual hey, slot? Hey, this is Oliver Liarse, code name only A656. I just finished coloring US Assassin book two. Boom. So, Boom. Hell yeah. And I, and I got to get back to work on three nights, four days. Don't get mad at me, my oh. if you're watching. Okay. <laughs> well, When's all royalties coming in, Oli? I don't know. <laughs> Where are my royalties? From wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's finish in. the introductions first we get, before we get into, into the politics. Ah. Uh, okay, who's next? Because I, I totally <laughs> forgot the order now. Hey, hmm? this is Pancho, 656 Comics. Um, I'm happy because the fucking... <laughs> Your job is over? Yeah, the, <laughs> the book fair, the virtual book fair is officially over. Today was the last day. So I'm off until January. The book disaster. Fair. And I'm, I'm saying that because of that little... That, that the only... The, the disaster, because there wasn't any audio in the introduction. That abandonment. Up, I, mean. I have to make the introduction. Well, this is... And this is... Javier, a.k.a. Send Little Caesars, Gutierrez. <laughs> Oi, uh, uh, speaking of, happy, you speaking of finish with a happy, you're happy for something. Aren't you happy for something, Javi? I'm happy because, I don't know, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know why I'm happy. <laughs> That's a, happy that you took that's a, a way to say it. I'm, I'm happy, but I, I just don't know why. Like, you know what? You should be happy because your book, your other book, Witch Hunter, that Javi has drawn, is, is is funded, man, and it just keeps like getting volition and it's it's growing. Yeah, I'm, happy. I'm happy because I have work until like January or February, like a lot of shit I have to to draw, and I'm just happy that it's it's comic pages and comic related stuff. In February, Javi, don't forget February where we finish what we started. Yeah, Ray's gonna kick my ass probably. 
We got to do this first, though. We got to do everything that's going on right now. And we're glad that you are here to listen to our rantings and ravings. Everybody in the chat right now, we have uh, Chio Gonzalez is with us, Imega Arch and Grincho, Luisa Bustamante. And Luisa is asking if I am transmitting from El Botellón. And yes, I am kind of sort of. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, I said something wrong on Facebook that offended like the FBI, that, that, and I got banned. For some reason, that reminded, reminded me of that of two stories of, from Ray. One, the one with, where he was in jail, and there was like a, an incident with, with the toilet. Well, and the well, other let, one him, when, let him when, talk when, about that, that story, Harry. Let him, and the other, the other is when, yeah. when, when he was drunk, when he was drunk and, and vomited on the, on the shower of a friend. <laughs> for, for some reason, I, I remember that like being related, but I think it was, they were two separate incidents. There were there were two separate incidents among the many incidents, but yeah, it was. And I didn't have a poop knife with me that time when I was in jail. Poop knife. Poop knife. <laughs> Is that gonna be a meme now? Is gonna be a meme now? Where's poop your poop knife? knife? Save the menu. Saca tu poop knife. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, it was very the interesting. Machete. And, um, <laughs> machete <laughs> para mi cerrote. Cerrote. <laughs> But I think that's that that word is very fucking strong. Cerote. Para tu mojón. Which one is better? Which one, which one do you prefer? Cerote or mojón? I prefer. What did I tell Leon? I said cerote. I, I told, hey Leon, you know they can say pinche cerote in the pinche toilet, eh? <laughs> Just so you know. Leon de la Rosa, wherever you are, Ma, I miss you. I love you. That word, it's so graphic, way. <laughs> if if you would have seen what I saw that night, you would have been like, "That is graphic right there." I mean, it had little semillitas. It had like I don't know, semillitas, pinche pedazo de Bologna, like the rind around the Bologna, like the, the string hanging out. This is what starting a, a stream on time is good for, Oliver. I guess so. <laughs> it's because usually we take care of all of this in the green room, and then I, I like come out, and come out, and, you know, we're okay. It's your fault, Javi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm feeling dude, guilty right now. Dude, Ray, if it had strings on it, probably there were worms, dude. No, I was going to examine it. I didn't have my poop knife with me to examine it, you know? Like, <laughs> if your poop knife. <laughs> That you know, you your, poop, know. your poop fork too. My poop fork. Yeah, I know. I carry my poop knife and my poop fork all the time, just to check out other people's poop. Wait, was that a bato cerote or like a girls? You know, because they they do some nasty cerote too. You know? <laughs> it's not it's not like gender friendly. You know, it's just because it's como muy general, way. All I know is that whoever laid Chabby. that thing, whoever laid that thing, it probably pushed them up off of the toilet a little bit because it, it was like a <laughs> montaña rusa, so you know, just sticking out, like this? sticking out of the toilet. This is the kind. That's the kind that you need to like have like. Like a lot of toilet paper in there. Like when you cry, like, like, <laughs> like oh my god! When you feel a tear, you had those just like, yeah. oh, you feel it. and then the the tears go into your mouth and it's all salty. <laughs> like, oh, <God." laughs> then I'm it's sorry, we're we're matches in your mouth. <laughs> sorry, we're being a little a little um um oh, that word that I can't think of in English right now. But uh, yeah, I mean, unless you want to talk about. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that election thing going around? Isn't it over already or are they still counting? I'm not going to talk about it, all right? <laughs> just in general, Ray. Just in general. Just in, just in, just in general? This is, this is all I have to say. Right? This is what I have to say. Hey, echo. Oh, way. That's, that's a big shirt. That's a big shirt <laughs> for a big man right there. But yeah, wish more Malikis never what, die. Just remember that. It's a cool shirt. I, I just wish I knew what it what it, it means. Yes, tell me. us what it means, Ray. It means that Laura Valley kids never die. You know, El Paso is 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 cut up into different sections. You know, there's uh 
there's the west side where all the rich people live. There's uh, central where all the other people live. And there's um, Juarez where all the Mexicans live. No, no, no. That's Segundo. That's Segundo. Segundo is like connected to Juarez, Segundo Barrio. Um, and then there's a far northeast. Northeast is the hood, brother. You don't go yeah. over there for anything. At the Matan, in the Devil's Triangle. And then um, you know, there's a far uh, east side now. That's like another west side. And of course, there's the Lower Valley. The Lower Valley is where I grew up in El Paso. It's the zip code of 79915. Um, and that's where everything happens, man. They're all the crazy shit. We're like right up against the, the border. You know, we could throw a rock and hit Mexico. Lower Valley kids never die because Lower Valley kids so much shit. And especially if you're from Riverside. That's right. So is they, they Isleta, they, Isleta also is Lower Valley, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isleta, whatever. But Riverside. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Isleta is Lower Valley as well. It's like the main rivalry right there, Isleta and Riverside. And sometimes, whenever we felt really sad, we'd let Socorro like come over and shit, hang out. What? Riverside for life? Yo. <laughs> 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 I think it is Ranger. It is Ranger, Wing? Ranger Pride. Ranger Pride. La Mega dice que la elección es un desmadre es Bush versus Gore. The only thing I'm shaking right now, I Mega, is is when for, for when they uh, finish counting the Kenya West voting. That's right. Come on, Yeezy. That's the, that's the only thing that matters right now. Black Jesus. Uh, come on, Yeezy. Black Jesus. Is it Black Jesus, Michael Jordan? No, Yeezy said he was Black Jesus. We're waiting. We're... Come on, come on, Yeezy. Do it for us. So. Oh, dig. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a meme about the election. All the memes I was sending you? No, no, otro, 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 otro chida. A ver. Otros más suaves. <laughs> I know. It was, know. it was, it was Biden. No, Republicans. It was like a graph. Republicans had like 13 votes, Democrats like 20, and Bree had like 94. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one. Yeah. That's right. Pichi Pri, man. Pri's everywhere. Pichi Pri, está ganando el Pri ahorita. I voted right. for el Pri, so it's all el good. Pri, I mean, you guys need to, you you guys need to like, like get your shit together and learn about <laughs> the Pri, man. About about Mexican politics, man, because <laughs> you're not there yet, but you're not there yet. there. We're getting there, yeah. you know. As, as I see it, as I see it over here, the the lights will like go out, the lights of the system will crash, and then five minutes later will the lights will come in again and the system's working, and all of a sudden the priest winning like a balance light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't, don't be giving this guy any ideas, man. He's desperate right now. He's looking. He's looking. So what if we turn it off and then turn it back on? Yeah. Is that going to work? <laughs> <laughs> what if you reset it? Oh, yeah, right. But it's way, way, way too close, no? See? It's, it's the spin. It's the spin, it's, man. It's too fucking close. I mean, I... It's the spin. It was like the... The four fucking years of bitching and <laughs> thing, la chingada, and then they don't turn out to the fucking ballot. So that no, there's there's no difference. It's there's, it's like the difference is that everybody. For example, that, for, for example, when Lopez right. Obrador won the, the 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 last election, he was like everyone was bitching for six years. Uh -huh. But they turned. But they turned. the The people went out and vote, and he won like by seventy percent or something like that. No, the people went went out and vote. And here in the U.S., is four years of of criticizing and bitching, but yet they don't go out and vote, man, because it's it's very close, super close. Yeah, it's it's the spin that the the media is giving you right now. It's like. <laughs> Like they announced, uh, I think it was Michigan. They announced Michigan a few hours ago, right? Um, even Fox News was announcing Michigan. Yeah. But for some reason, CNN Wolverine. held off. Like CNN didn't want to announce it, even though everybody else announced it. 
in order for them to get more ads, in order for them to make more revenue by, by showing ads because they got you glued to the TV and you're watching to see if they're going to announce it and nothing happens. So, hi, I just want to know what kind of tea Pancho is drinking. Oh, you have fans, Pancho. What kind of tea is that? Cool. Uh, I saw Canela. 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 Mm. <laughs> canela. canela. Sirena. Sirena es Canela. Mm. You want me to make you some cinnamon tea? He? Sí. Oh, shit. Somebody's going to get some technical difficulties. What's up? What's going on? Let's go to the, let's go to the map. I mean, the chat. Um, the map so, chat. The map chat. Uh, Shogun Sai said, El Paso is blue. Um, what's up, baby? Oh, okay. Good night. Love you. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Um, Shogun Sai said, uh, uh, Mega, pero Fox News metió influyó en la elección, pues estando por ganador. They're talking about the old, um, I guess, campaign, whatever. Serena was asking about what tea you're drinking. Luisa Busamante said, hi, Serena. And uh, Serena said, hi, Luisa. So they're all talking. And uh, <laughs> the thing about Pennsylvania, you know what? Honestly, it's like a big old fucking mess right now, man. And Pancho's right. Like, and all this bitching and complaining. And then this is what happens, you know. And and don't get me wrong, man. Don't get me wrong. It's the fact that certain people don't want to let go of the power, and other people want to get in there and take it from other people. And that's why it's taking so long. That's why it's like being drawn out. And that's why like everyone's like having anxiety right now. There was a bunch of like people talking about that earlier about election anxiety and election depression and all sorts of stuff. I mean. I just want my fucking stimulus check, man. That's all I care about, you know? Come on, I don't care if you to me. Just give me my money. Yeah, give that's always, money. always been about giving me my money. Dude, if 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 he would have sent another stimulus check, I would have won. He would have won, dude. With my vote, yes, he would have won. <laughs> but he fucked up and didn't send me my fucking money. Don't fuck with my money. Like, Come on. That's a that's a pre tactic right there, boy. Give them money, buy them their votes. You want to know the, the pre tactic? I mean, buscar lo, we. A ver, busca lo. <laughs> All I'm saying is that este pinche pendejo no me mandó mi dinero, entonces, chingate. You're not going to get shit from me. Oh, better yet, better yet. Toma, ahí está, se acabó. So, no. Yeah. Give me my fucking money, bro. Give me my money. Because I'm a gold digger. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. This is what you needed, man. All right, let's see. This is what Trump needed to do to win your vote. <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. You know, a care package. Un <laughs> pinche <laughs> <laughs> Are those are those chocodrilos? Oh my god. Choco, no, it's it's, it's Pancho Pantera, way. Pancho Pantera. Oh, you Shit. got your you got your animal crackers, your your kilo of, of, of rice and beans. 100 pesos para la chela. 100 pesos for, for, your, for your caguamas, man. And, for milk para los niños. And the yeah. animal crackers for the kids, too. And you're set, man. Shit, I, dude. You got my vote. All I wanted was my, my stimulus check. Un pinche, un siete. No, <laughs> para aventarme en el machine. For, un for loco. <laughs> un for loco. Y tu barra de frutzi. Unas pinche semillas de eh, pinche calabaza en Puerto Rico. Para que cagues a gusto. <laughs> <laughs> Or you can, you, can, you can pick this one, dude. Oh, shit. Galleta amarilla, güey. Galleta amarilla. Damn, son. Oh, ah, yeah, that's a lot of money. That's like two boats or something like that. <laughs> you got a quinientón. You got a quinientón, Un quinientón, güey. Con el Nacho Zaragoza ahí, güey. Vámonos. You get a pen, a pencil for your, so you your literate ass. <laughs> your literate, for you can cross out your vote. There you go. And I don't know what the hell. Uh, okay. Unos cuetes, some cuetes, huh? Like, like sopa, like coditos. Sopa. Sal. You get, you get a bag of salt? A bag of salt. <laughs> <laughs> for your michelada. 
La vida está muy amargada, no está tu sal. Ándale. For your micheladas, ¿no? Is there a lemon there? For your micheladas. <laughs> <Sorry, Liam. laughs> Ándale, your, Grinch. Your pica limón. <laughs> pica limón. <laughs> Oh my All God. I'm saying, man, is, is you know, <laughs> well, what's going on? Let's see. Mm -hmm. In the chat, everyone's talking about it. Serena said something about Duvalin. Ooh, that'd be awesome. Um, so here's a, here's a... Had Trump caravans running people off the road. I heard about that. Claro que Mega tiene dinero listo Trump. No quise mandar, además, no AOC, no depende. What's with the rice? Wow. Who, who named the wrong rice? Grueso. Es... Sos grueso. Sos grueso. So you have your you have your your kilo of rice. I oh, know. Yeah, it's a kilo. You have your what? Coditos de, de la mordenita. Modernita. <laughs> yeah, but SOS. It sounds like emergency. What is, what is that in the background? What is that like? Gelatina, gelatin. And your quinienton? That, I mean, that, you could go wrong with your quinienton. Yeah, with your fly? I'm sad. And then you have this cute postcard of Peña Nieto. I mean, you know? What else do you need? <laughs> that's that's a, a limited edition trading card. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be offered for a... It's a stretch all way. That's the Mexican Indiegogo campaign. <laughs> <laughs> It's for, my, for that for Bigfoot team. For my Let's presidential project. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. So yeah, that's uh, that's what's been going on over here, man. So it's a big old mess. It's like this whatever, man. It's just yeah. I just want money to buy pizza, dude. You know, that's it. Pizza. Mezi arroz or pinchi oitos. Pizza. Lentejas, no te gustan las lentejas? No, 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 no. Don't, don't, tell me, don't tell me about buying pizza already because it might be impossible to do it here. So, okay, we already know what's going on over here, which is total fucking chaos right now. No one's shot anybody. You know, the Proud Boys haven't come out yet. You know, they're waiting. Stand by, stand down, stand by. Um, what's going on over here with you guys? Weird. When are we going lockdown? The massive lockdown, Javi? Explain it to us. In our state, Chihuahua, the whole state that I think we are going like in DEFCON 5 with the oh, shit. with the pandemic. The we are not it, it it is like a, a curfew, but for business, I think that no no one is going to be open after 7 p.m. and and I, I believe is they are going to close on weekends or, or no? The people that are going to close on weekends, I think, are supermarkets. What? And that's a pretty Shit. heavy measure, if, if you ask. So me. everything, everything is going to be in lockdown, like except for, like probably the nightclub, right? It's... It, it sounds like a really serious thing from here to until New Year. Oh Even shit! Talking about Apple? Christmas. Yeah, I mean it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty cool deal for me because I'm working from home. But I believe the people that are affected negatively about this must be in the majority. Yeah, I, I want to believe that. Well, well yeah, except, course, except Pancho because Pancho, Pancho is is getting a good deal out of this. The people that work. Uh during the week and they don't have any opportunity to do anything until the weekend or the people that would come over here and buy the groceries and then take them back, those people are going to be affected like partially, man. That's fucking heavy. Yeah, it's, but I don't know. I think this, um, these measurements should have been done, like be more strict since like uh april or may no you you had to you had you had to like play it stricter yeah instead of freaking washing the whole city they should have yeah, done yeah. this instead because <laughs> yeah, no. right now it's it's just like the numbers just went up and everybody right now everybody's like um Contagiado right now. It's, it's 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 crazy. Now 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 you hear 
lots of stories that ah oh, my neighbor is is uh, has COVID and 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 it hit real 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 near no yeah so I mean that's that's the situation right now man it's it's the second wave or whatever you want to call it like the doc and I have been discussing that one time it, remember he came with a vengeance pinchy yeah. rate a cow pinchy thirty one hundred people infected one day it was all In one day right yeah thirty one hundred thirty one hundred that's like everybody that fucking decided to go trick or treating or some shit. System X. And every every afternoon I hear the kids like playing outside of the of the house. They're all fucking running around and fucking you know, ah, and I'm like, dude, you motherfuckers need to go back to your house. You need to just sit down and watch yeah. TV, play some fucking video games, do something. Wow, it's like the opposite now. Like instead of go outside and play, it's like stay inside and do something. So well, well apparently Kavala is here saying He's that live on the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can, he, can you brief? Can you brief? Can you brief <laughs> that there won't be a toque de queda? So it's you know what is happening, Ray? It's happening the same thing in El, like in El Paso. Because the the governor in El Paso are stupid. Yeah, but the, but the governor said one thing, and our mayor doesn't like, like doesn't care, no, doesn't. Ese güey le pegó, verdad? Yeah, ahorita, yeah, he's like twice le pegó twice. Shit, and you still don't learn your lesson. I mean, I understand, okay, don't get me wrong. I understand people's livelihoods. A lot of people can't have the luxury of staying home. A lot of people have to go out and work. You know, a lot of people have to go out and buy stuff and bring back to the home. So it's 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 a necessity. But, I mean, if you can all lock down, you know, if everything made sense in a perfect world, you can all lock down for a little while. And just stay put. Get everybody, get everybody's shit together. You know, send them money, whatever. Lock down for two weeks. See what the fuck happens, and if it doesn't work, then fine, fuck it, let's do something else. But everyone's crazy right now. Right now, they've closed three WalMarts that I know of in town for like three days because they needed to sanitize the wall. Oh shit! And, uh, and they... one of those WalMarts is like right down the street over here, not the one that we go to when they compromise with Pinchi Apple Pie, the Pincholi. But I'm talking about like the further Walmart, the, Yar the Yarbrough one, the Yarbrough Walmart. That shit. one closed down. The Trans Mountain Walmart. That one closed down. The one on Saragossa, that one closed down. Those but Walmarts. It, but it closed down to um, sanitize or closed down because sanitize. of Sanitize. Ah, okay, okay. For three days. They closed today, and they're not going to open until 5 p.m. on Friday. Freddy says that they're, they're just putting Christmas decorations. As well. <laughs> <laughs> they're taking down the Halloween. <laughs> And that's the thing, man. What else is it? Uh, Imegar said, La tiene más difícil porque no tiene el enseñado y parece que tampoco va a tener a la por completo cámara. The Senate and the House of Representatives, no? It's, oh, we're still talking about that? It's a mixed bag. Well, anyway, I don't know. It's it's it's, it's all the same to me, so. It fucking goes hand in hand in a way, I guess you could say. Because one thing affects the other thing. Um, yeah. This is not going to end anytime soon, obviously. And uh, like nobody, nobody even sees. You know what like, we need, Ray? Underlying conditions. What's that? An alien invasion. It's coming. You didn't hear about that? So we could, so we could join. Team you didn't up. hear about that shit? Team it's up. on. <laughs> look for it. Look for it online. Apparently, uh, astronomers found. A sound that's like keeps repeating and is being sent to Earth from somewhere in our galaxy. It's somewhere oh, on there. It was on Google mm -hmm. today at some point in time. Yeah, it's like no se están diciendo que estamos pendejos or some shit. I don't so right, know. So right now, <clears throat> there's like the character like Jeff Goldblum in Independence Day saying that whoa, 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 whoa yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a countdown. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. I love Pancho's Jeff Goldblum impersonation. That's fucking gold right there, Jerry. That's fucking gold. <laughs> Freddy says, I prefer a zombie apocalypse. Ah. Well, we're we're living one right now, dude. Yeah, we're kind of living one right now. 
just let COVID mutate and then you'll see like all this dumb shit come back. Either that or Planet of the Apes, whichever one you prefer. But um, Planet of the Apes, man. Um, yeah, sure. you, can be, you can be the leader, Ray. We can be the chango. No, 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 claro que no. No, no, claro que no. No, no te creas, no, no. Oh, man. And all this happening right now, we were so happy earlier in the week because we had premiered the sign up for the Cryptonals. We were so happy about that. We launched the teaser trailer. We were loving mm -hmm. it. And then everything got kind of shut down. We're going to resume our normal programming next week as soon as everything kind of goes back to normal. But uh, this is what's happening right now. We're going to show it to you guys nonetheless because, of course, we got to pay the bills. And we want to say that the Cryptonals are coming. The Secret War of Monsters is about to begin. This is the teaser trailer for the sign-up uh, email list. So if you guys haven't signed up as of yet, check out the trailer. Go to Indiegogo, sign up for the free sign-up list. Is that redundant? Yeah. <laughs> and receive, yeah. Receive a free enamel pin once you back the project, once it goes live. Hopefully, if we're still around in February. So let's check out this beautiful, beautiful trailer, this teaser trailer. And remember, it's just a teaser. The veil between realities is thin. Sometimes we catch glimpses of a world we were never meant to see. Yes, hello. I need help. I can hear it. Its eyes, they're glowing. Oh my god, what is that? Please, someone, someone help me! Monsters are real. Waiting in the shadows to rend our flesh and devour our souls. But not all darkness is as it seems. The Crypt Nauts. I think uh, the internet kind of like lagged a little bit there so it kind of jumped around but we'll show it a, we'll show it back yeah. again a little bit later on it, it um, showed you? well for me yeah, yeah but... okay, Ray, I wanted to ask you who, who has been things since the reveal of this trailer who has what how has uh things been for you since the reveal well i i, I was Posting it on Facebook yesterday until I got arrested and thrown in jail. So, but other than that, it's been pretty good, man. Everyone on Twitter has been noticing it as well. Um, I got a few people that uh, signed up uh, on the Cryptonauts Facebook page, and I think Oli was telling me earlier that we have quite a few people that have signed up already for the free sign up. So that's good. Um, but uh, people are interested. People seem genuinely yeah, interested in what's book, going on. The book, the book looks really cool and. A lot of people is telling us that the enamel pin thing as an exclusive for signing up is is really really generous. I, I can wait for. I I wanted to ask you if you guys are going to to reveal the design and maybe even a mock up before the the sign up ends. Well, of yeah, we, we have to because that that's what was going to get people motivated to sign up even. Yeah, I, I really it's, people are gonna get hyped for that. Yeah, we need to. Uh, our, Dario already has the the to do list for this campaign, so he should be training in stuff like by next week. Dario's a workhorse, so he'll be on on the ball as far as. This and he's almost done with with issue one, right? Yeah, he showed me the last page of issue one, so we're we're about thirty percent completed on the book. So by the time that we premiere uh, the actual uh, campaign itself. We should be at least at 80% done on the book. So hopefully I have I a suggestion. You should you should add uh, a vinyl a vinyl a vinyl figure with, with a new cryptid that is the the Pancho Wolfman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I put it in the chat so you can. Where is jump. it? Check in it out. The, it's in the chat. Okay, hold on. In the in the Facebook chat. Same. Yes. Okay. So right. everyone on the stream that has already signed up for uh, the free sign up list, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. And I, I cannot stress this enough. We are nothing without the fans. 
And because of that, I promise you that we will not be premiering anything fucking shit. <laughs> oh my god. That's the <laughs> very funny. <laughs> Those look like him. I want to get that vinyl figure, by the way. I know, man. I want one too. <laughs> Are you guys gonna buy one from for Sue because he asked for one? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you one, Pancho. Um, Thank you. Yes, definitely. But as I was saying, um, we're not going to be launching this campaign for the criminals until Undead Border is off of our hands and into yours. And uh, that's that's the promise that we give you because we have to deliver on that book first, that book came first, and that book is very important for us because that proves our worth as far as our platform, as far as uh, Indiegogo, as far as everything that we're doing as creators. So just keep that in mind. That book is, is coming out before this even sees the light of day as far as the campaign is concerned. We'll be there for that. Um, but yeah, man, what else, what else is happening? What are you guys doing? Like, are you guys gonna be okay? Like with all this shit that's happening in your town? Tomorrow we're going on a supply run and I hope we'll find stuff to buy because people are people are crazy over here. People are dumb. Is it, yeah. It's supposed to be just uh, closing down on the weekends as if COVID just attacks on the weekends, right? <laughs> Well, shit, man, I was waiting to wake up this morning and COVID was gone. You know, that's the promise that, you know, Uncle Trump told us that everything was going to be okay today. And Me, well, they have, they have to declare a winner. Hold on. Oh, COVID's waiting for the winner. Oh, okay. Exactly. Oh, okay. It's cool now. Let's go. All right. I'm done. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I have to go back to my whole planet. Like Gucci. <laughs> I see one. Hey, man. To the... To the Back to the fucking bat's ass. <laughs> I thought it was a pangolin, like in God. South Park. <laughs> and Freddie says, um, I had a health scare last month. I had some symptoms, but then I broke out in a rash all over my body. And I was like, oh, shit, COVID mutated inside me, and I'm patient zero. Fuck my life. Um, a it's rash? A <laughs> Maybe you're allergic to something. I don't know. I'm just saying. Possibly. <laughs> so so let's keep talking about the criminals. Crip criminals. The criminals. <laughs> I know Peter. Uh, we had premiered the criminals on Peter's page uh, on Monday Crypt night, and uh, he kept saying the cryptid. Right. Cryptidnos. 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 So maybe it is a little bit hard to say, but with time. I I got I got uh, I had trouble saying it at the beginning, but now. It's, but it's but it's a cool name and it's it's unique. Yeah. When you Google search it, it's gonna it's gonna be the first thing you'll see. Hopefully so, man. Way better, um, way better, way better than the other comic titles you wrote. <laughs> I know, man. I was thinking of all this crazy shit and shit. I don't know, man. Um, I was looking at some other uh, cryptid comics that are coming out or that have come out. And honestly, there's nothing out there like this. Like everything is, uh, are you everything out there focuses on one character and that's it, or it focuses on the human aspects of it. But in the cryptonodes, it's just the monsters. That's all it is. Are you gonna do like a like a Japanese crypt cryptids later on? Maybe, hopefully. How so you kai, on how kai, this you cut your kinos, your the your kinos. Because the Japanese have a lot of funky looking monsters. Dude, the Japanese are fucked up, bro. Like, <laughs> I was, we were, Serena and I were watching the new Unsolved Mysteries, the second season. Oh, the, second the, 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 the Ghost of Tsunami? Yes, dude. What the hell was that? Hey, uh, that's... Like, it's somebody, we were just sitting there, like, what the, why are ghosts in Japan so fucked up? Like, what the hell's going on over there, man? Like, <laughs> It's so mystic over there. It's so it's very spiritual. spiritual. It's very mystic. You guys haven't seen the next, the new season or the next part of the season for Unsolved Mysteries? Check it out. Uh, the Ghost of, of, of the Tsunami was probably the best one. I think that was the be I think that was the best one of of, of the new Unsolved yeah. Mysteries. Honestly, that hey, one and the one. I'm sorry. Okay. What does Siphon say? What is he saying? Siphon says, "Have you guys heard of El Pata Grande?" 
It's similar variant of the Bigfoot species and only appears around El Paso Door Valley. They're not as hairy and look like homeless Mexicans. And they love to eat children, but they tend to be pacified by porn or beer. Scary. And Grinchel said, El Patagrano. Tu eres, no? Is he talking about you, Ray? You're the no. missing link of the Pata Grande. Boy. No, you're the Gringo Patos Grande. I'm not blessed. Like I'm not blessed. I've been Paton Ray. I've seen you. Well, you know what they say about a guy with big feet? What? They got big shoes. They got big, big socks. Omega <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, says uh, that's Ray when he's wasted. <laughs> I, I also thought that he was low key describing Ray until he mentioned the eating of kids. The eating of kids. Yeah. But you you know Ray uh names the burritos kids, so probably that's yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> my children. <laughs> Especially once they come out, you know, later on. <laughs> Ay, hijo, mira mi cerote. Mira mi cerote. Ah, le, voy poner, <laughs> le voy a poner. Este, whatever. What was, what was the name of Stimpy's son? Uh, Stinky. 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 And I will name him Stinky. That was the best uh, episode. I was, I was going to say, and I'm going to name him Manny, but I think we're going to. Oh, be, shots fired. Get it be personal. <laughs> Mega Heart says, kids, chicos. Tacos. That's right. Oh man, now, now we're getting. I'm getting hungry now, man. Like, I want a pizza. I want chicos tacos. Thanks a lot, Javi. Thanks a lot, Emeka. Damn. So, what's the pizza situation over there? Why are you afraid you're not going to get any pizzas? Because they're closing down. No estás escuchando, güey. But you can still go like today, or rather tomorrow, and get a pizza, right? Oh, there, there is Diego. I, I, Diego was asking me about the Witch Hunter book, and I. Try to invite him, but he he didn't want to come come around. Tell to, tell him to get in. Tell him to get in. I, I, I told him, but he didn't want. Don't, he, ask, he, don't ask him. Just tell dijo, him. Dijo que le da penita. <laughs> ah, pinche Diego. Come on, Diego, get in here. Let's talk about. Stuff. Yeah, Diego. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen. <laughs> Let's talk about the cryptonauts. Let's talk about the cryptonauts. Oh, it's the same. So, it's the cryptonauts. Ya le mandé el link al Diego. El Dieguín. El Dieguín. gets in here. So, as you guys know, we're promoting the cryptonauts sign up sheet. You know, Secret War of Monsters is about to begin. And this is what's happening right now. There's two factions as far as the uh, cryptids and tulpas are concerned. The cryptids are, you know, your. Neighborhood friendly, friendly neighborhood, fucking Yorona and Spring Hill Jack and Man Dog and Goat Man. And the Tulpas are the evil, you know, Slender Man and Black Eyed Kids and the Rakes and stuff like that. Goat so man, that's what the criminals are fighting right now, or they're going to fight in the book itself. But it has <laughs> more to do with like crazy shit than it does with uh, you know, just having a war and fighting each other. So. Right. You already explained the, the Kryptonon's name. What does it mean? The cryptonos means that these animals or monsters or whatever you want to call them, they don't exist. Or apparently, according to human you know, human society, they don't exist. They're they're like a, a legend. But they're still criminalized because every time you hear about them, it's always in a bad way. Like There's never been a cryptid that's friendly other than supposedly Bigfoot, whatever. But... All the other cryptids that are out there, like the Chupacabras and fucking La Llorona, always, they, when you talk about them, it always seems like they're, they're criminalized or demonized. So it's a play on words. It's cryptids and criminals, and you put them okay. together, and you get the cryptids. I always imagine people, like, uh, treating Bigfoot like, like he's a big bear or something like that. <laughs> and actually, the... People think bears are like Yogi Bear or the, yeah. or the forest bear. And then they see him and they, oh, okay, mira, es un oso. And then Pinchy also bites the hands exactly. off. And, and that's those the are big, like, big animals, man, the bear. I saw, I think I saw pictures on Twitter of a bear attack. And I think he like ripped the face of a guy. 
uh, with massive claws. <laughs> I saw the fucking picture. The dude had no face, but they, they after surgery he got he got a new one. He got reconstructed. So yeah, don't fuck with bears, guys. You, you know yeah. how lucky it is for him to survive a bear attack. That's yeah, crazy. I know. I'm, I'm miss- the the expensive uh, comics of bears. <laughs> what? <laughs> Del amigo de Ray, el bear. And he's here. Uh, Who's here with us? Uh, there he is. Hi, guys. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, Diego? Hola, Ray. Hola, Oliver. Pancho. Javi, ¿cómo están? ¿Qué tranza, mi Diego? <laughs> ¿Qué tranza por las venas? ¿Te perdiste del principio del stream, Diego? Que, que hubiera sido tu mero mole con la charla escatológica del Rey y su... <risa> con su cuchillo. La traducción literal es cuchillo de caca. <risa> ¿Sí sabes cuál es esa, Diego? ¿Do you know what the poop knife is? ¿El poop knife? ¿No, no es el, el sacacacas que hablaban la otra vez? No. <risa> es un... It's, it's a knife. A literal knife. That cuts shit. You cut shit with. Ah, he, he visto que. Bueno, no, el de caca no he visto, pero hay un brother que anda haciendo cuchillos de casi cualquier material. No sé si tenga que ver eso. <risa> el, de caca, el de caca se oye de ley. <risa> sí. No, it's an, actual, it's an actual knife, supposedly, that people had in their house to cut up their big poops. Like whenever you took a really big poop and it wouldn't go down the toilet, you would use the poop knife to like cut it up. Ah, so it like ah yeah. Yo, yo pensaba que era el otro así, el hecho de caca. Entonces te, te acuchillan y aparte del daño te infectan, ¿no? no. <laughs> Eso está más enfermo, güey. Sí, es que es lo que había pensado, pero el otro se oye, se oye más chido. So it must cheat. Apparently, there's like a real poop no, knife. Yeah, it's what? a real thing. What the hell? Like, <laughs> it's like a butter, butter knife. <laughs> Look, check it out. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Strong <laughs> metal core. Strong metal core. What the hell? With a hygien- hygienic. Okay. It's silicone. <laughs> No, pues, ah, está en Amazon. Ahora me siento culpable de haber metido al Diego y, y haber re, retomado ese tema. Tú los inicias, güey. La caca es vida. No te quedas, man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. ¿Puedes ver eso de nuevo? ¿Puedes ver la foto de nuevo? ¿Puedes ver la foto de nuevo? Esa foto. Wait, one man. Wait a minute. All right, everybody, hold on. What the fuck? He brought up, he brought up the accident. Did that trigger some memories in Ray or what? Okay, Benza. Me estaba riendo del comment del Siphon. Ya lo viste, Oli. No. Have you heard? Have you guys heard of El Nalga Inmensa? It's a sapphire of a pata grande. Oli was smaller feeling. You just. The turbo. That's what. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> oh, 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 You know, you know, you found one. Well, seriously, I could buy the supernatural <laughs> amount of. De hecho, también está chido que menciona el Diego porque es un es un cuchillo made of poop y básicamente si matas a alguien con él, bueno, si hieres a alguien con él, como que le da como en calabozos y dragones, ¿no? También le hace daño daño de envenenamiento. Sí, sí, mamá. Yo yo pensé que ibas a decir que este, qué bueno que está el Diego porque él sabe de cacas. <risa> sabe de cacas. Bueno, hemos tenido una que otra charla, Diego, en la que eres muy letrado en ese tema. No, Pero es, este, es que... este lo empezó Ray porque eh, el resumen es que es para 
para gente que nunca puede cortar su streak de poop, Ajá. como que hacen manguerotas y necesitan un cuchillo para, para cortarlo en carga mientras salen. Está bien. Es, 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 es bueno saberlo. Y es, es una historia de horror con la que salió el rey y resulta que es algo real, que sí existe. Mm. Manguerotas, güey. Manguerotas. Yo... No, no, no. A ver, no, no, no tenía el conocimiento de eso. Vamos a ver si hay reviews. Ok, sorry about that false alarm. I thought I had one, but I, I guess not. Te regañaron, güey. No, no lo enseñaste. The less we know about that, the better. Ok, Ray. She was upset because I was actually looking for it. Ray, anyway, let's read the reviews. Oh, oh my God. Knife. <laughs> Hold on, let's... Uh... Let's see what the reviews are of the poop knife. Um, poop knife. Why would you put this in your dishwasher? What the fuck? Is read it, read it. Um, I was wondering the same thing. I guess that you have to mention that it's safe in the dishwasher if it's safe in the dishwasher. I wonder if it's microwave safe. Why would you put it in the freaking microwave? Um, oh. No, wash separate by hand. Exactly, that's what I said. <laughs> Um, the next question is very legitimate as well. Can you use this uh, as a butter knife? So, of course, people can are icing cake with it. People are spreading butter with it. Um, people are slicing butt butter with it. Use your imagination. <laughs> but <It's> butter? <laughs> okay, so... Only the butter come out of your butt. <laughs> Only the butter came out of your butt. Just please don't spread it on toast unless that is your thing, I guess. No, no cake shaming here. <laughs> and sure, you may not want to use it after cutting your douche. I mean, your deuce. <laughs> what, what, what the hell is going on here? I just, I don't, I'm, a, I'm sorry that I started this. Um, Does it come with a holster or scabbard? Just asking. You never know when you might need it while visiting a friend. ¿Ves? Ahí te lo hubieras llevado tú, güey. A la casa de León. Exactly. Yeah. No, but you can modify a Ziploc bag for easy transport. Oh, that's, hey, that's like a life hack. That's pretty cool. How many do you get in the order for $14.95? One. Reusable poop knife is included with the order. Um, <laughs> dude. It's like a heavy, easy-to-clean silicone-covered butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It just... Uh, <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had some uh, technical difficulties there. My, there we go. My, my earbud like, flew out of my, my face. But um, it's listed as dishwasher safe, but your dishwasher safe is used after spraying poop everywhere. It's a joke. Never had to wash it. <laughs> Never had to, we should. Um, but when we were kids, my dad did have a real knife to cut up my sister's poop, which is why this joke was so perfect. That was before dishwasher. Wow. So, it was, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you do after using it? Is there a sheet? I wash it and throw it back in the drawer until it's needed. In the drawer? <laughs> in, in like the, wow. the utensils drawer? <laughs> With the prongs just, just, and spatulas? Just in the drawer, along with your, you know, your thong and your, you know, rub your, what? your vibrators and shit like that. Um, how big of a sewer snake will it cut? Wow, a sewer snake. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, snake. That's a big, that's a big. This was un cerote serpiente ahí. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I bought it as a gift for someone who wrestles sewer snakes often. <laughs> so. I will have to get back to you. I can say I think it should be a bit longer, but it's very sturdy with a good weight to it. I do believe that it will easily dice up good sized sore snakes. Not a gag gift for some that struggle is real. It's nine and three quarters. What? Keep, keep going. <laughs> inches long. Nine and three quarters inches long. I have never been so afraid of Scrolling down to the section of, of reviews and photos <laughs> of an Amazon page. Siphon said, "Scrip it around the rim in order to get all the butter. <laughs> <laughs> um, should work on anything big enough to plug a toilet. Wow. Um, I bought it for a Christmas gift gag. 
o a gag gift, so I don't know. It's only about mm -hmm. seven to eight inches. Se acaba de meter el Edwin saludando. Help Edwin. <laughs> hey, Edwin, what's up? I think he's going to get scared. Like, what the Why fuck? Why is it that he joins, always joins in when we're talking about poop knives? What's going on with that? Uh, the question, can this oh, be used? Oh, very delicious. That, 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 that was my, my fear. You know what? This I actually I was actually thinking about this right now a little while ago when we were talking about it. Um, can this be used to internal coerce Mr. Hanky leaving the cave? I was actually thinking about it because if it's rubber, then you know there shouldn't be an issue. Um, um, well, other than the issue of it going up your ass, but that's uh, we do not recommend using the original poop knife internally. A poop spoon may be a better <laughs> option. There's a poop spoon. I think that one would hurt. Like Thank a constipated you. mathematician, better work it out with a pencil. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. You know what? Can we just watch the election instead of this? What the <laughs> There's enough shit on TV right now anyway. Um, is this being produced in other colors? I would prefer a brown or green. Um, <laughs> uh, top reviewers from the United States. This is what they had to say. I like that it's dishwasher safe. It leaves me with the reassurance that my That's won't be genuine. damaged by harsh hot water and detergent while the powerful dishwasher jets power my poop particles into my Tupperware containers and the bone china dishes that I'll be using to serve guests at my dinner party this <laughs> evening. Thanks. <laughs> <Good> night. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> It works as not a gag, gag also. Without going into any gory details, this knife has been a real help to someone who has a medical condition that results in fewer, larger mm -hmm. bowel movements that tend to flood the toilet. This can actually be used to break that down into smaller, more flushable amounts, which reduces stress for the person who has the condition. Bravo, good knife. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> how many more of, how many yeah, more of these are there? There you go. Hey, wait, yeah. boo -boo. Make it, make yeah, it, it down. Make it stop, please. Cut it. Make it cut the shit out. Cut it. Cut it out. Good one, Pancho. Hello, oh entra, Diego. Hi, Diego. How you doing? Bien, bien. No, estoy aprendiendo mucho. <laughs> They were yeah. like me because he was asking about which hunter. And I, I think we all, creo que decepcionamos mucho a Diego el día de hoy. No, no, no. Ya nada más, este, viendo esa del dishwasher, dish washer, se me hace así como, como ese, esos comments así como, de, eh, can you taste it? Eh, after you use it, este, no, please, it's inside it's funny. <laughs> it depends on what type of dishwasher liquid you use. I prefer Cascade because that actually doesn't leave any residue and you can't taste it. Oh, yeah, pues ya, ya, almost at four grand, Javi. Oh, oh yeah. so, so everybody in the chat, listen up really quickly. This is Witch Hunter. Witch Hunter is now, is has been live on Indiegogo for the, about the past week. The illustrious Javi Gutierrez himself is here with us tonight, as he is every time that we stream. And uh, he's here to tell us about Witch Hunter and what part he played in the production of this book. It's looking fucking fantastic, man. And if anybody has not yet backed the book, I'm still waiting for my check, <clears throat> Uncle Trump, so I can back this book. So tell us, Javi, tell us a little about the book. Yeah, about the, the book is how you ended up uh, I, 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 I uploaded it today a couple pages or a couple pics of, of pages from my from my end, like in black and white, to my Instagram. I'm gonna post them post them also to my Twitter right now. But a couple of people that didn't knew about this project uh, saw it today, including Diego, and they were asking me about it. Uh, this is it, basically. Uh, it's a, a book that I'm doing with with Carla and John. They are writing. They are doing the covers. And they are also coloring it. I'm doing the interior art, but they are they are coloring the pages. Oh, I see. And it looks pretty cool. It's gonna be around uh, 46 pages, I believe. Mm -hmm. And 
Diego was asking me about that thing with the two endings. Basically, you are going to be able to get like two versions of the same book, but uh, each version has a different cover, and each version has like a a, a path at the end where the the pages and the story changes, and they are basically alternate endings to the book. Oh, okay. kind of like choose your own adventure type of ending. Yeah. yeah. That's cool, and and that's a, that's a really interesting idea. So in order to find out how it ends, you gotta buy both books, like to see both endings, because of course curiosity is gonna get the better of you. Um, how uh, how far are you on the book right now? Have you already drawn those endings or not? Um, I think I'm more or less around the ha uh, half the book uh, drawn right now. Oh really? That's cool. Yeah, but the the interesting thing is that they are not asking me for okay, change. Now, no page one, two, three, four, five, but they are asking for certain pages, mm -hmm. and they are sending me each week which pages they want drawn next. I, I I don't like that actually. I think it's better to to go in order, no? I uh, I could agree with that, but I think it's a a good strategy when you are in the midst or of a campaign of an indiegogo campaign mm -hmm. because i believe they are choosing certain pages to uh, show in regard of what they want to show to mm. the people pending of the campaign i get but i guess you need to show off more no because you only have like two pages or one page of your artwork yeah I, i'm hoping they start showing it showing more stuff but uh, at the same time i suspect that they were planning on showing a lot of art, but they weren't counting on getting the book funded on the first 10 minutes <laughs> of the campaign. That's awesome, man. I, That's really good, man. I'm when I, when I get your book funded on the first day, I kind of understand not throwing everything you got at yeah. first time. What I, what I know is that they are planning to, to really soon uh, release info on the extended goals. I hope they do a, a black and white version, man, because... Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, so, because... I'm, I'm kind of waiting until they talk about the stretch goals to back it, because I, I want to see what, what else they're going to offer. <clears throat> yeah, I want to yeah. see a black and white version, and yeah. I want to see a cover by Hot. Yes. Yeah, I want a black and white cool. version with the cover by Javi. I think they need to keep up and, and get better with my pace with the pages because I would like to uh, if they get enough uh, money that they, uh, I want them to have the option of of extending the story a little bit or something you you want to extend it you have ideas or or, or why why is that no I, I want to finish with my pages so oh, okay they, they don't feel pressure to to choose between doing more like covers or something if they want to do more of the comic because okay. I, I I also believe they are going to get like a, a not pressure but I think they are going to get uh, a public from this book and they are and a lot of people are going to like uh, uh, thing on maybe doing a sequel to this. I, I don't know if Carla and John are thinking in that already or, or if yeah. they are thinking or, or on getting me for a second possible book, but I I I really hope that they that they think of me for future for future stuff. Because I, I, at least at least with this story and this universe I, I like it. I was cool. about to ask that like she really had a good time drawing it. And and the cool thing is, it's that you're fast, so probably they will. They're gonna ask you like for two books at the same time next time. <laughs> That's good yeah. though, man. That's good. It keeps you busy and stuff. So, uh, so what what questions did you have, Diego, or, or was that it? You just wanted to know about the alternate endings. Well, no, sí. Eh, eh, esa era una pregunta que tenía respecto a los eh, dos finales que tiene. Digo, ese, eso se me hace muy interesante para tener ahí como alternativas, ¿no? Y pues ahora sí es una sorpresa doble el que lo tenga. Y creo que eh, tu arte, Javi, eh, 
por lo, lo que he estado escuchando de la historia, lo que leí, la información que está en el Indiegogo, se, se me hace que encaja perfectamente, está muy, muy chido, la verdad, este, está muy impactante y me gusta verlo a color, este, eh, eso es algo que he visto, trabajo del Oliver, ahí cuando te coloreé y todo, se ve muy chido, pero eso, eso es un plus para mí, ¿no? Este, pues yo no los pinté, güey. Ah, no, este no, pero pues eh, los otros que los coloreas la, en las otras portadas que han hecho ustedes. Este, no, no. Pero sí, eh, y bueno, de... de Digo, yo sé que al final tenemos que leer para conocer un poco más de estos personajes, pero eh, ¿cómo fue eh, un, eh, tu proceso en cuanto a, eh, a diferencia con, con los buenos de 656 eh, y con otros proyectos que tú has realizado? Eh, ¿Sí fue dis, eh, distinto en cuanto a cómo se... Eh, ahorita estabas mencionando un poco de cómo se te presentó eh, el desarrollo de las páginas. I, I, eh, I think it was less stressful because uh, until now, Carl and John have not returned me in a single page. They are... They haven't made... Uh, ask for changes yeah. until now. But also there's... I think there's the disadvantages to that because the very first page where I met Riva, like this, La Pelirroja esta. Uh, mm -hmm. eh, según yo, todavía está como que en la etapa donde estaba con los diseños de personajes y eso. Y por la costumbre pensé que a lo mejor me iban a, a pedir cosas o hacer ajustes y así. Pero no, no me dijeron nada. And then, eh, Carol started doing some live streams and, and posted some art and also from other people. And I... I started to feel that they that, that she was making a, a really more voluptuous and sexier <laughs> Riva than, than me. Yeah. And that's when I thought that maybe I'm I'm being a little bit prude and I'm not making her sexy enough. And and this is a book for 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 a CG public, so I think I should step up a little bit more and and think of the Uh, things that they could ask for me if they if they were more uh, demanding or, or exigentes. I, I, I think por la costumbre de, de trabajar con el Oli y estos güeyes, de que siempre están como que viendo cómo mejorar las cosas, yo mismo me puse en la mentalidad de ver cómo podía mejorar un poco los mis propios diseños, porque también eso no... Ellos me dieron así un, un, bien, un poco... Os, guidelines y, e imágenes de referencias y los diseños fueron libres totalmente míos y eso también estuvo muy chido. Es muy muy impactante la verdad y eso es algo que también me, me llamó mucho la atención este, ver más trabajo tuyo y me da mucho gusto porque sí la verdad sí se, se antoja para adquirirlo bueno lo, de hecho a, a, ahorita Ampliando un poco más, este, pues apenas acabo de escuchar su, su otro podcast donde hacen el, el previo al Criptanina y, este, y también eh, impactante, eh, lo, la verdad me, me emocionó muchísimo y creo que ahí tienen una historia muy, muy chida y, y como siempre pues también chulear a, al Darío Suarte está muy, muy, muy cabrón. Necesitamos ayuda con ese libro, Diego, para encontrarle el nombre Chilango y cómo, cómo venderle ese libro a los chilangos. <risa> Chilango. Porque somos, somos criptinals, pero como que todavía no tenemos ahí el, la tropicalización de esa madre. Mm, es que sí hay que, sí hay que buscarle, porque ya ves que... Mm, Imagínate pues, que estamos en el Zócalo, Diego. ¿Cómo, cómo <risa> chingados le haces para, 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 para bajarles el concepto de los criptinals a, al mercado? Yo creo, que, yo creo que sí funcionan como criptinals, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. sí. Sí, como que eh, faltaría eh, bonito subtitle, ¿no? Like, like a, sub, un subtítulo. Crypto sí. Monstruo. La verdad, la, la, la neta, a mí me hubiera gustado mucho usar cri, los criptidos. Los monstruos en apuros. 
Fíjate bestias que, peludas. Bestias peludas. Fíjate que ahorita que lo, que lo mencionas, este, algo que gusta mucho a la banda chilanga o que gusta mucho de México es que son, es muy desmadroso y muy juguetón en ese aspecto. La obra, por lo que escuché que mencionaba Rey, pues iba con una, una cuestión más este, de, de ampliar estas nuevas leyendas urbanas, pero haciéndolo atractivo, ¿no? Y juntándolas. Y creo que por ahí, o sea, por ejemplo, del eh, recuerdo de, de ahorita que preguntan cómo hacerlo interesante, nosotros como que afianzamos cosas que vienen de, de Estados Unidos, como lo de el Monster Mash de, de Bobby Boris Pickett, y le pusieron aquí qué monstruos son. O sea, ya no monstruos, sino monstruos. Monstruos. Ajá, y o sea, o sea, es como se me hace como divertido porque de por sí la canción es muy, muy divertida, es muy chida, pero lo, lo tropicaliza. Creo que hasta una versión ahí de, de los Acapulco muy... Pues en, en plan guasta. Entonces, no sé si este eso es lo que también quería preguntar la Rey, que, que si este, en Kryptonina, yo sé que la cuestión es ser divertido y ser atrayente a, a distintos públicos, pero pues bueno, si, te, si quieres verlo así por el punto de vista de Chilango, pues nosotros somos muy, muy desmadrosos, pero ¿esa es la intención o vas por un plan un poco más serio, este Rey? Está, está un poquito más serio. I mean, the story, muchos, um, a lot of the books that I've seen that deal with the cryptids, they're either really, really serious, like of course because it's horror, or they're mm -hmm. really, really like uh, comedic, you know, they, they make it really funny. There's nothing in between. And that's something that I was trying to do with this book, kind of have like a happy medium where there's parts where it's really intense and really scary, but then, you know, we get the relief of having it being funny or having that, you know, that break where you can breathe before we move on to something scary. Um, a lot of it comes from the characters themselves because like a lot of these characters, they're just legends. So they end up, you know, tienen, they don't have backstories or the backstories that they have always involve some sort of uh, tragedy or something like that. Um, and a lot of the characters in the book, I have gone ahead and fully fleshed out their backstories so that you know what type of personality they have and where they're coming from. And when they crack a joke or when they say something that's off, you know, you connect with them and you kind of understand what's going on, especially with Spring Hill Jack. I don't know if you guys are how you translate Spring Hill Jack uh, to Spanish, but uh, that's like my favorite right there and uh, she's oh, oh i just gave away a spoiler right there i'm sorry spring hill jack is like the main i guess leader of the cryptonauts and uh, they have uh they have this attitude like very how can i put it uh 18th century english type uh froppy kind of stuck up attitude but it plays off of the other characters and stuff and um i mean once you start reading it you'll understand that so it, it's 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 como los, 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 los monstruos sí son desmadrosos porque pues, son monstruos que, que, Jack, les, Jack, que les vale, ¿verdad? Jack, Jack come from John, right? I think Jack Spring, Hill, Spring Hill Jack in Spanish will be something like, like Juan Resortes or something like that. Sí, Juan Resortes, algo así. But, I mean, that's, that's what plays into it, you know. Um, I was going to mention, Ray, that uh, I went with Santa Reaga in the into Fortaleza stream and I talk about the cryptinals and a couple of people were asking about uh, a Spanish version of this book that I think should be in your radar right now because uh, there's obviously, obviously all these monsters that are, that are known to the English public but there's also the thing with you know what you know who of the Mexican monsters yes exactly. or, or, or should I say that. Mexican lady monster Mexican lady monster, La Llorona. Yeah, I just gotta say that you have people in, in, in Mexico that will most probably buy this book. Yo creo que if Pancho you, wants to you, translate it. I mean, I mean you do have uh, characters from pre-Hispanic <laughs> era, no? Yes, sir. Hey, Stephanie, uh, Renee, what's it, what's it going? Hey, Stefani, there we go. Bigfoot Satan, Stefani, don't forget, we're doing it soon. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for joining us tonight in the chat. Uh, we're talking about the cryptonos and uh, some of the aspects, some of the stuff that's uh, going into the book. 
Uh, but you have a very te quedas, Diego, para enseñarte páginas en exclusiva. Yes, definitely. A tus, a tus ojitos yeah. vírgenes. I'll put it right <laughs> now, but let's play the trailer now, because we have... Para este yes. We have new people. We have new people in the chat, so we're going to play the trailer. The Secret War of Monsters is about oh, to begin. This is the, the Cryptonauts coming very, very soon. If this is the first time you are seeing this trailer, I recommend you turning a little bit up the volume. Turn the volume up. Yes, sir. The veil between realities is thin. Sometimes we catch glimpses of a world we were never meant to see. Yes, hello. I need help. I can hear it. Its eyes, they're glowing. Oh my god. What is that? Please, someone, someone help me! Monsters are real, waiting in the shadows to rend our flesh and devour our souls. But not all darkness is as it seems. The Cryptonauts. That Monstros en apuros. Monstros en apuros. <laughs> <laughs> no salgas ahí con tus compromisos, monstruos. El, el monstruos, <laughs> monstruos más. Um, the Cryptonos is live, or rather the sign-up, the pre-sign-up is live on Indiegogo right now, so please go and add your name to the email list, and once we go live, you will receive a free enamel pin once you back the project. So please remember that now is the time to go sign up We're still a ways off from premiering this book, but we're going to get there and uh, be in on it now. It's going to get good, hopefully. Uh, so, ¿qué te parece, Diego, todo lo que estamos platicando de esto? Ah. La llorona y todo. <risa> no, está impactante, Ray. Ya desde que eh, vi el tráiler, la, la, pues hace poco, creo que fue la mañana que me puse a verlo, este... Impactante lo que hizo ahí el do, Nomo Aligando, <risa> que se la, se la rifó, la neta, y oh, sí. eh, llama mucho la atención. Yo creo que tienen un producto muy interesante, Rey. Este, la, el, la cuestión de la traducción, pues sí, es importante eh, pues, eh, para que nosotros, pues ahora sí podamos este, comprenderlo, pero creo que eh, esta mezcla que manejas de tragedia, de aventura, de, de misterio, de ir descubriendo y sobre todo eh, esa pila a estas criaturas, este, a estos seres, ya es de es casi universal. Entonces yo creo que aquí sí tienes un público que está muy ávido de ese tipo de, de terror. La verdad es una, una cuestión muy triste aquí, en, en, al menos en, en la parte de acá de México, Está muy desaprovechado, muy... Pues lo han hecho a un lado. Y creo que este tipo de productos son los que son necesarios. Entonces, me sí me emocionaría ver eh, cuestiones así de, de leyendas más enfocadas acá a México. Pero yo creo que los monstruos que manejas es eh, la, la, lo que es la ley... Eh, ¿Cómo se podría decir? La, la mitología no actual. Ya, ya es lo que manejan los chavos. Y que me gusta mucho que luego se juntan a contártelas, o sea, sí se transmiten por redes sociales, YouTube y demás, pero también te lo, te lo cuentan, o sea, lo, los, los morros te cuentan esas historias y eso está muy chido y que tú ya los encauces, eso pues, me emociona todavía más. Entonces, pues, qué que chido que, que están haciendo esta chamba. Y sí, yo ya ya apenas, este, igual en la mañana terminé de ver el tráiler y ya, ya me suscribí. O sea, sí, awesome. Muchas gracias, Diego. Thank you so much for that. Y sí, Pero cómpralo, Diego. Sí, Simón. <risa> Estábamos hablando nosotros también de eso, que los monstruos que estamos usando yo y Dario son monstruos que son de esta región, right? ¿Am I saying that right? De, yes. de los sí, Estados English. Unidos y de México. I'm sorry, say again. Sí, en inglés. En inglés. These are cryptids that are, that are native to this area of the country. And believe it or not, not just La Llorona, not just the man dog, not just the Bigfoot, but the Spring Hill Jack. Spring Hill Jack, it has a legend of it being in this area. And we'll, we'll save that for another another uh, uh, stream. But uh, I want to touch on La Llorona really quickly because I, I, Diego did 
uh, touch on something about how you know certain myths and certain legends are treated um, as as much as uh, La, La Leona es algo que es muy familiar a, a México y esta región de los Estados Unidos aquí, ¿verdad? Y todo el tiempo cuando me han dicho historias de La Llorona, todo el tiempo es una tragedia, es algo feo, es algo, es algo que va a asustar a los niños. Pero ¿por qué razón? You know, what reason does she have in order to do that? Of course, there's the obvious reason that she you know, murdered children, she's all this other stuff, but she's always in mourning and she's always looking for her lost children. But wouldn't you, if you were damned, seek redemption of some sort? And that's something that, that travels through the whole story of the cryptonos. All of these cryptids, all of these characters, all of these monsters are seeking some sort of redemption because of something that happened in the past or something that people assume about them, and especially La Llorona. And I want to touch on that really quickly. La Llorona has never been viewed as a character that can be redeemed. It's always been viewed, she's always been viewed as a character that's damned, that there is nothing that can save her, there's no salvation for her. And in the criminals, there's actually, that's the difference when I use La Llorona as a character. Yeah, she's scary, don't get me wrong. Yeah, she'll fucking, you know, scare the fuck out of you and probably kill you from the fright, but there's a reason for it. And the reason that she's seeking redemption as well, there's a reason for it. And uh, I think that's one of the more interesting aspects of the book that I'm trying to write in the book. And um, I mean, we'll touch more on that as we go along. I don't want to give away too much, but uh, La Llorona that we use in the Cryptonome is a fully developed three-dimensional character that is not scary for the sake of being evil but it's scary because it's tragedy that most people don't understand so i just wanted to, to, to touch on that really quick that, that was a really nice diego impersonation ray that <laughs> 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 oh sorry diego i'm sorry yeah i i, I think you even <laughs> killed no pancho. I, I think you killed pancho with that <laughs> No, está muy chido. Muy, muy chido, Rey. Awesome. Ver, la verdad, sí, sí, me llama. Ahí, ahí ya ni saludé a la Bel también que se conectó hace rato. Oh, there's Abel. I'm sorry, guys. Abel's already in the chat. <laughs> um, we have, of course, Stefani joined us uh, recently. Awesome art, he says. And Abel Salazar is here with us as well. El pinche troublemaker, Abel Salazar himself. He says, Jesus, guys, those drawings. Anyway, it'll be good if you guys collaborate with Pedro to make an animated trailer of this beauty. We are in talks on that right there. And he also said, you have a very interesting concept right there, right? Thank you so much. It's not just me. It's also Dario and everybody at 6x6 that has landed, landed? Holy shit. That has lent their talents uh, to creating Lender it. Man, all the books. I mean, it, just, just like with Undead Border, man. Like Undead Border, we're trying to do something that's never been done before. And I think we succeeded in that, especially with the art and the way that we presented the book. And now with the Cryptonos, we're trying to it again every single time that we come out with something it's going to be different but approachable at the same time so hopefully we continue that streak and uh continue delivering some good products so there you go but um that's it i'm i'm, I'm talking too much man this you guys you guys <laughs> talk man all right so what's been going on <laughs> I, 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 think so we, so I think we need to make another Cryptid uh, stream soon when we are drawing and talking about monster Sunday some, some monster of the week Sunday for Domingasos we'll do another one or oh, you want to do it tomorrow now tomorrow yeah. we're gonna go out and buy supplies the yeah you're gonna do your supplies whatever, 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 whatever the place. I, I think it's better either because this weekend we are, are also gonna have Mandalorian hype. That's oh, right, shit. man. Sunday Saturday, sounds good. Saturday night. I think literally the Mandalorian is the only good thing happening this week. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for my Inca for my ver, I'm waiting for my stimulus check, so <laughs> I'm really asking Harry, how is Witch Hunter going? Let's going show the trailer. Well, the trailer. I mean if you were here before, I mean, <laughs> you, you will know. Yeah, llegas tarde, güey. Llegas preguntando cosas de, de a los cinco minutos. <laughs> Go back with the stream. <laughs> Play back uh, the stream, guys. Let's let's uh let's hunt your trailer. And I just want to say, everybody, also Edwin. Edwin has his 
uh, mailing list up and running on AGG as well. So if you guys get a chance, want to you know pre back the book or for sign up ace. for uh, you know for the ace, yeah, the ace is looking really and check it out. I'm sorry, you were saying. <laughs> Yeah, I also like the siphon comment from before of the cryptinals. They they and fury they are they and furries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see it. They ain't furries. I know we're still working on that. So, but I mean the dog man. I mean yeah, the dog, the man dog is a little bit furry. So, um, okay. So everybody, really quickly, this is Witch Hunter. This is uh, the book that uh, currently Javi is working on. We're going to check out the beautiful, beautiful trailer by White Cat Comics as well. So let's check this out. Really quick. Renowned witch hunter Alden is faced with the most dangerous quest of his life when a powerful witch emerges to threaten Grimsby. With the fate of his people hanging in the balance, Alden must unite with an unlikely ally to free Grimsby from the claws of evil. Don't miss this masterful tale from White Cat Comics. So there you go. Witch Hunter is live right now on Indiegogo. If you guys get a chance, get over there and back it. Um, Javi's art is featured in it as well. And our good friends, John and Carla, are the creators of that uh, comic book. Uh, White Cat Comics. I'm really waiting for news about the extended goals thing, which is one. Do you have any idea what the... Yeah, John, John spoiled a, a little bit of it. And apparently there's going to be like... A, a charm or some kind of uh, key, like like key holder with your mic is muted only, um, like some key holder with with a riva in some kind of uh, shivari, like, like when you like those rope <laughs> rope kinky kind of stuff when they are like. Uh, I'm amarrada, no sé cómo. I forgot like, the, like them, the them words. Bondage. Oh, yeah, bondage. Some, some kind of bondage stuff. There's some really weird stuff going on at the Carla and John <laughs> camp right now. That's, that's what I can tell you. <laughs> it's the pregnancy, Harry. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I was going to say talisman. I wasn't going to go like all bondage carry. Okay. I, I remember the Japanese name, but not the English name. Oh, Shibari. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Shibari. I wrote a poem about that a long time ago. So I, Read it. <laughs> yeah, I love them. Read I it. Even, I don't even know where it is. I'm on the pues. Let's go. Are we done? Are you tired? I'm tired. Yeah, I gotta get to work. Oh yeah, we gotta get to work because these comics ain't gonna draw themselves or write themselves. Yeah, um, let's, let's go on and show Diego some of those Yoronas. Sounds good to me. All right, everyone in the chat, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with us. Uh, Siphon said, I'm pooping. Oh, no, I'm popping out, fellas. I got the inspiration to go finish a bunch of drawings later. It's good job, guys. We inspired Siphon to go finish some drawings. And um, see you, and Abel. Inspired as well. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, um, I was telling Abel and Siphon that we'll see you guys because they are commenting. Yes, Abel. Thank you so much for showing up, Abel, and thank you, everybody in the chat, for hanging out with us. It was a little bit shorter than usual, but, of course, we got work to do. Thank you so much once again. Hopefully, we will see each other very soon. Uh, I think we're doing on Sunday, right? Yeah. Sunday, we'll do it again, and we'll talk about uh, Cryptid to be announced about that. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Spread the word about the channel and ring the bell as well so you know, get receive notifications once we are going live back the crypto nodes as far as the sign-up sheet is concerned um the pre-campaign sign-up sheet is live on igg 
before the trip finals and you will receive a free enamel pin once we go live and you back the book uh, later on down the road. Thank you so much for listening to all our rants and raves. Thank you, Diego, for showing up and hanging out with us. Muchas gracias a ustedes por invitarme y qué chido saber más de sus proyectos. Obviamente, sí, sí los voy a comprar. Oliver. Come on. <laughs> Anybody want to say good night? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, guys, and uh, always stay hard. This is Happy Harry's Hard on.